And so I've come today to share with you some thoughts about song. I've come today to share with you some thoughts and ideas about your song, each of your songs. Everyone here is a magnificent singer. Say yes, Fred. Yes, Fred. <laughs> and so I've come to share what we have in common. A sweet melody, that's which each of us possesses. The beautiful song of life. You know, it honors me to have the opportunity to be here with you this morning. You know, music is kind of my life, and it's been my life as long as I can remember. There's never, ever been a time in my entire life where I wasn't making some noise, making some music, making some sound in the early, early, early days of my life when I first came into the world. I came into the world as, a, as an orphan. I was a ward of the state, as they called it in the state of New Jersey. And I wasn't in that situation where I was able to be held and caressed a lot. But you know, creation, spirit, our creator will give us everything that we need. So I was one of those little guys that I made sound from the inside out because it comforted me. It was an extension of the womb, I believe. And I could feel it on the inside. And I was also a perpetual rocker because the body has a need to hear and feel the frequency and vibration of the world and our voices and a need to move and motion. Why? Because we are one with the earth. And you know, as I travel around the world and make music and engage with folk, there's all this conversation about, you know, how do we figure out how to get together? You know, it just seems like we can't seem to get together. It seems like there's not a lot of unity in the world. But you all have the key, you see. It starts from the very, very beginning. You know, I don't care where I go in the world. It starts from the very, very, very beginning. The understanding that we, from the very moment that we enter this life plane, this experience, we come into a sense of oneness. And it's a song. It's a beautiful melody. It's a song. You know, most people think, you know, when we come into the world, you know, we're ready to come through the birth canal. We come through the birth canal. We come into the world, and the first sound that we make is, <laughs> but that's not the first sound that we make. We come to the birth canal, and the first song that we sing, the first breath that we make, the first sound is, <sighs> and then we cry. And my great teacher from West Africa said, you see, we come in the world, and we sing the song of the breath. <sighs> no sweeter song than the song of the breath. Do that for me. Breathe in. Breathe out. And do it one more time. And now this time really feel your breath as you breathe in and out. Breathe in. And breathe out. This, my friends, is the song of the breath. It's the song that we sing for our entire existence on this life plane, the song of the breath. And how about this? This song, I won't hyperventilate, is the song we sing all of us together. Watch, do this four times with me, ready, go. Do you realize that that's our unifier? That's our unifier, the song of the breath. It's the song that we all sing for our entire existence, regardless of where you come from, regardless of your ethnicity, your background, you know, whether you're tall, whether you're short, whether you have hair, whether you don't have hair, we all have that unifying existence, the song of the breath. That's our unifier. We come into the world in unity. That's our unifier to breathe in and to breathe out. I've been in many places in the world where there was great conflict, but I've never been anywhere in the world where people were so mad at each other until they went <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
and refuse. Why? Because it's the grace and the gift that we receive. The song of the breath. Just consider that. When your mind tells you story that the world is in chaos and it's hard to know the answer, give yourself permission to breathe in and breathe out and recognize that if I allow it, therein lies my unity. Therein lies my connection to another. You know, the beautiful thing about song is that, you know, it's not just a heard thing, right? I mean, if I go from speaking into a melody, can you feel how the air shifts? Of course, the acoustics in here are amazing. But can you feel how the air shifts? Oh, oh, oh. Why? Because the beauty of the song is that it moves from here to there and it embraces you. It engulfs you. So too when we breathe together, I sat there and felt our breath during the meditation. We were entrained, we were connected. There's so much that we share if we give ourselves permission to really feel that and to know that, right? It's a really powerful thing. So the song of life is what? The song of the breath. It's that which unifies us. So let that be our premise. Let that be our foundation to recognize this beautiful journey of breath. But we tend to think about those kinds of things as what happens out there? What happens out there? You know? But this experience of speaking, that's your other song. You know, we, we, we invest a tremendous amount of time in kind of developing a sense of a voice that we think will endear us to others, where people will not just hear us, but they'll feel us and they'll believe us. That's, your, that's the other melody. That's the other melody that you align to the breath, is your speaking. But let me ask you this question, my friends. How do you speak to you about you? Uh-huh, I always think about, hmm, what's the melody, what's the frequency, what's the tone of song that you sing within you? Another one of my teachers said, you know, like, um, he said, when you breathe, where do you breathe from? And, you know, because I had been to school and, you know, I knew what I was doing, you know, I said, well, you know, Baba, I breathe from my diaphragm. I breathe from the diaphragm. He said, well, that's interesting. He said, when I breathe, I breathe from the edge of the universe. And everything between the edge of the universe and I become one with me with every breath. And my journey is to learn how to breathe it back with the same love that it's given to me. That spirit love. Right? How do you speak to you about you? What's the vibration of how you speak? You know, what's that inner peace? A lot of conversation about finding oneness and finding peace. But what's the vibration and the frequency of your inner speak, your inner, your inner dialogue, your inner song? How does that feel? It's really important. You know, many of the great sacred texts say, as you speak, so you are. Right? It's very real. But it's not just sound. It's frequency. It's being. Right? I, uh, uh, I, was at a, I was at a gathering uh, a month or so ago, and uh, uh, the, there was a speaker, and the speaker was talking about how, like, you know, the, there, they, there are so many, many more planets now than there, than we, we recognize many more planets, and many more constellations, you know, millions and millions of them because of all this technology that we didn't know was out there, you know, and, and I, I, I thought... Wow, he, and, he, and, and then he said, like the millions and millions and millions of cells within our being, right? And all of a sudden, I got that, right? And so I thought, man, you know, I don't, I don't fully understand all those constellations out there, but I can relate to the millions and millions of cells within me, right? And so that, that evening when I got home, I thought, why don't I... Just sing within my inner space, my inner garden, my inner temple. I'm just going to sing a melody to all of my cells, right? 
Oh, how I love you, feel you, acknowledge you, my constellation. Every cell of my being, I embrace you. I breathe into you, and you give me life. Like a universe, every cell of my being. Oh, how I honor you, every cell of my being. Mm -hmm. I imagine you laughing as I breathe into you from the edge of the universe. I spend so much time looking out there, but I take the time now to nurture me, to celebrate the universe. You chose me to be every cell of my being. I breathe in and I felt like I'd never felt before. Because I do, and I think maybe you do too, we spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to function in the world. But we forget about ourselves. I mean, the intricacies of ourselves, the inwardness of ourselves, you know? That gift that we've been given, the gratitude of this being. Every moment, every day, today is a new day. The sun is in the sky. Whoa, 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 it's wonderful. It's very real. Therein is a part of the song of life. I want to I I offer you the opportunity, right, when you go home today, is to just look in the mirror and look into your own eyes. I know it'll feel a little awkward at first, but just look into your own eyes, right? And listen to your breath. Listen to the song of life. Listen to your breath and just be grateful. Be in gratitude for every moment because all possibility begins right here. Life is like a chain of perfect moments. When you feel like you're in a moment that doesn't feel so perfect, step into the next perfect moment. You know? There's this wonderful little exercise. It's just a breathing exercise. It's a, a part of the centering thing. When you feel a little out of sorts, you feel like, you know, life is kind of crazy. You know, things are running on and on and on. Just stop. And it's a simple breathing thing. You take a breath in for three counts. You hold it for six counts. And you let it out for nine counts, and you'll be amazed at how that just energizes you. Why? Because everything we need abides in the inner garden. Everything we need is right in here. It gives us a pattern of inner loving. And then we go out into the world. Peace lies here deep within us. And you got to kind of know that to be. You know the, what you know, our elders used to always say, you know, but don't go out there into the world doing what, you know, God didn't make no junk. Creation did not. The journey and the joy is to find our way, to find our joy here. You know, my great teacher said, you want to you have an impact on the world? Have an impact on you. Be loving in here. Be energetic in here. And it'll radiate into the world. I mean, how many times have you said in your life, well, I don't know, you know, I don't know, it just didn't feel right. You know, or I don't know, I didn't feel. That's a feel, that's a felt thing. But how much of a felt embrace do you give yourself permission to feel within you? in all of the being and doing that we desire, and the being is the thing. This gentleman right here, I've been knowing him for a long, long time. He really is. He's like my, he, I think Steve knows me probably better than anybody in the world, you know? And when we first met, it was like, wait a minute, I gotta get to know this guy. I was curious, because he's incredibly smart, and, and you know, and he plays guitar really great, and you know, and 
I just thought we could get some gigs together initially. But, <laughs> but he transformed my life. But what if I had just lived in my little bubble over here? Because we felt each other. You go places in the world, you know, it's like, you know, spirit speaks beyond language. Spirit speaks with the eyes and the heart. Spirit speaks beyond. You got to be careful what you say around me because it turns into a song. It's just that thing. You know, spirit speaks, but spirit does. Spirit, that essence of breath and wholeness, that undefinable mystery in the world that surrounds us and we get caught up in our heads. The great mystics say the longest distance traveled is the distance between the head and the heart. But just allow when your head gets noisy, noisy, noisy to call upon spirit way within you and call your heart closer and closer. Because spirit speaks beyond. Write down aspirations and, 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 and goals and, and, and feelings and, and knowingness that you desire. Write them down and then speak them aloud. Because the pure vibration of that is powerful. It moves us. It moves us to feel. And if we feel, we know. I've been in a lot of situations where I've been asked to go to lectures and, and be there in the lecture hall and just take notes of whatever the lecturer is doing, and then at the end, sing it. You know, and oftentimes they'd say, man, I spent 35 minutes here, I spent 40 minutes here talking about this, you sing a song in three minutes and all of a sudden everybody gets it. But that's only because the frequency is different. Speech we hear here. Music, we feel. So what's your music? What's your melody? What's the possibility and opportunity for your beingness? Because transformation happens when we choose to be differently. But it starts with us. It starts with us loving and being in great gratitude for every breath we take because every breath invites us into the melody of the universal divine spirit song of being. And in that moment when we get closer and closer to understand that beingness that will attract and help to manifest change, then we find our way into the fullness of unity, divine unity starts with learning to love you, to recognize and acknowledge your worth, to feel that knowingness, and to love deeply. For the greatest thing you'll ever learn is to love and be loved in return. <laughs> a boy, a very strange enchanted boy, they say he traveled very far, very far over land and sea, a little shy and sad of eyes, but very wise was he and then one day one magic day he came my way and as we spoke of many things fools and kings this he said to me 
the greatest thing you'll ever learn is to love and be loved in return. And then one day, one magic day came my way And as we spoke of many things, fools and kings This he said to me The greatest thing you'll ever learn is to love and be loved in return so I invite you to really live into this song of life experience start by listening to your breath start by being in gratitude for the gift that our Creator has given us. Then wrap your arms around you and learn to love, love, love and forgive yourself when you don't have all the answers. Embrace yourself. And know that if we can learn to love ourselves and be curious about others, then all the barriers can slip away. And we can truly know what it is to be a unified community, not afraid of each other, dispelling those myths that because we're afraid we make up just to feel safe mainly because we're afraid and remember my friends that when all is said and done the greatest thing you'll ever learn is to love and be loved is to love and be loved is to love and be loved in return Thank you.